Hi YouTube, I'm back with another video. Today we're testing, bench testing, a 5 kilowatt Chinese diesel heater, 12 volt. Uh, it comes with a complete kit, everything in it. Uh, don't work there. Two silencers, I don't really know what I'm going to do with two silencers, but uh, I'm sure I'll sort it out. Little remote control, all the fixtures and fittings. And what I've done is um, it's a bit of a lash up. I've just fixed it to that block of wood there in the vise. Uh, but you get with the kit this green pipe, which isn't supposed to be much good. I think I'm going to swap it for some uh, white nylon pipe. But you can see the uh, pipe comes out of this diesel container here, wedged it in there, into the inlet of the pump. There's no direction arrows on this pump, but the outlet is at the same end as the um, electrical connection. And then what I've done is I'm just about to prime it, so I've come up to this end here. I've sucked the diesel through there up to this point and I've been pumping to get the diesel to the end of the pipe here. The, um, the wiring harness that you get with it, you get everything with it, uh, but it all plugs together and you get the, from the harness there, you get the live, uh, you get the neutral and the live. Uh, I've just connected it up to an old battery there with um, a battery charger just keeping it topped up uh, but you've got a connection there which comes to the little remote control and here you've got the main connector from the harness to the body of the heater and this little wire here goes around and you've got the connector which just clips onto the end of the pump. So, very, very easy. Uh, the biggest problem is the booklet is written in Pigeon English, um, or Chinglish as some would call it, and it's actually quite misleading and makes things a lot more difficult than they need to be. For instance, uh, for the priming, it says that you have to hold the OK and the down arrow buttons together and then it goes on about what happens, but it doesn't happen. What you actually do to, to uh, prime the diesel through, which is what you've got to do first, is on this controller, you hold the up arrow and the down arrow together and that, what that does is it brings the pump on as long as you're holding the buttons. So press those down together. So you can see the pump there. You can see the diesel coming out at the end. So now we've got diesel right to the end of the pipe. What I'm going to do is connect the pipe on to that fuel line connection, which is there. So there you can see, I've just slipped the plastic pipe over the end of the connection. And just a word of warning, you need to keep these fuel lines away from this hot exhaust pipe because if they if they touch the exhaust pipe it'll melt the pipe and then you'll get uh, fuel onto the hot exhaust pipe which uh, can't be good in any circumstances so i'm just going to fire it up now uh, that's the display when nothing's happening and you can see that the the kit at the moment 
is pulling about one amp, sorry, 0.1 amp there on the um, clamp meter. So to turn it on, you just press and hold the on button there for two seconds. And it's set on the uh, mid-range temperature. So you can hear the fan kick in there and the glow plug and the fan. You can see it's pulling eight and a half amps there. The unit's just going through its cycle. The uh, pump should kick in any second. And it'll start to fire. It's kicking out a bit of smoke there. Probably over primed it. This exhaust of course should go outside but as I say this is only a temporary arrangement just wondering why the oh there we go pumps just coming on now there we go it's pulling uh, over 10 amps there out of that battery but it does that on start up and it'll settle down once it gets going. So you can hear the fan ramping up there. The exhaust is cleared now, you can feel that warming up. Yeah, we've got warm air coming out there. It takes a while to heat up, just has to go through its cycle. The exhaust is cleared. So it's showing all systems go. Now the heater's got going, you can see that the, the amps has dropped down to around about three, below three. But the fan's racing away at the moment and um, the fan speed will ramp down as it achieves temperature. The exhaust outlet there has got uh, quite a whistle with it. But uh, this is the silencer supplied in the box and it's uh, surprisingly effective. It really quietens it down there. I suppose you can put the other silencer on the end of that and it'll be even quieter. But yeah, seems great. That's running on the lowest speed at the moment, so if I ramp it up, it's a six. You can hear the heater increasing in speed now, and the pump picks up as well. You can see the absorbed power climbing. The little remote control that you get with it seems to work straight out of the box. 
Uh, other people talk about having to pair them, but this one seems to work fine. Just pressed it on there. If you press the down button, you've got temperature control and also off. I'll do a follow-up video when I'm actually fitting it into the vehicle and going into more details with these. But I just wanted to check that it was working before I go drilling holes in my uh, motorhome. So that's it for now guys, watch out for my follow up video.